Pac-Man editorial cartoons. Hey, Earthman! Oh, hey, Socko. How's it going? I'm good. What are you doing, Earthman? Oh, I'm I'm writing the script for our next video. How's that sound? Oh, really? You write the scripts? The scripts don't write themselves, buddy. Could have fooled me. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. Can we? Can this one be the one where where there's like this rock, and then it gets really big, and then it turns into a lobster? <laughs> yeah. Let's. No, probably not going to do that. Or maybe, like, Mariah Carey gets to be, like, 50 feet tall, and then she's climbing up the New York State Empire State Building, and, and, and... No, no, Sokka, we don't have time time to do that, okay? Maybe next time. Or how about this? How about, how about you, you're, like, 20 years younger, and you're walking around a house, and you're getting eaten by a couch. <laughs> how about that? Wouldn't that make a good video? No, Sako. No, I got I got a plan already. I just got to write it out, okay? Thank you. Oh, uh, right. uh, okay. And then all of his students were super smart. The end. All right. Let's shoot this script. Hey, Sako, what are you up to over there? Awesome drawing. What, what is it? And, uh, I'll show you later. Uh, wait, there's nothing to be worried about, Sako. Let me see. Oh, it looks really great from here. It's like Godzilla, right? Here, now let me look at it a little bit closer. Oh my gosh, Sako. I can't even believe the detail in that. Oh, that's cool. You wrote the, 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 oh, this one building has your name on it. Sako's. Cool. Oh, this other building says Hopes. And dreams, Sako's hopes, and hey, that's not Godzilla's face. Wait, what? Uh, is it? Is it me, Sako? Where? Uh, uh, that's why I didn't want you to see Art Man. Well, what? What's this? What's this about? Uh, I was feeling kind of bad because you didn't want to use any of my ideas in your script for your movies. Oh, Sako, no, I just meant for right now. Oh, well, I don't know, I still felt pretty bad. It kind of, kind of felt like you were destroying my hopes and dreams. Oh, well, you know what you did there? You kind of made a, an editorial cartoon. That, that just happens to be what I was going to teach my students about this week. Really? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I'll use this as an example. So you're, you're not mad? No, 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 no. Well, what, what is an editorial cartoon? Well, so glad you asked, Sacco. But first, let's talk about what an editorial is. It's a newspaper article written by or on behalf of an editor that gives an opinion on a topical issue. So therefore, an editorial cartoon is also about an opinion. It's an illustration containing a commentary that usually relates to current events or personalities. Now, editorial cartoons have been around for a long time, but the first American editorial cartoon is credited to Benjamin Franklin. And it's this piece right here called Join or Die. Benjamin Franklin? You mean like the guy with the key and the lightning and the, and the bifocals? The guy that's on all your money? Well, he's not, he's not the one on all my money. That's, that's actually uh, George Washington, Sacco. Oh, well... How come he's on some people's money, but he's not on your money? Well, that's probably an editorial cartoon right there, if you ask me. Anyways, his editorial cartoon was about the American counties and their need to join together in order to stop the French during the French and Indian War. Well, I didn't know that the colonies looked like parts of a snake. That's kind of weird. Well, no, they didn't, Sako. You see, he's using symbolism there. What symbolism is, it's the use of an image or a thing to represent ideas or qualities. So this image of the snake represents all the colonies as a group. And if each colony is separate, the snake can't live or the group of colonies can't survive. 
And he used labels, too, to make his symbolism a little bit clearer, so that people would look at his picture and understand that the segments of the snake actually represented the different states, if they were being separate. And you used symbolism as well. I did? Yes! When you made those buildings, you used those buildings to represent your feelings, your hopes, your dreams, and then you used a giant monster, Godzilla, with my face on it, to represent me and how I was being maybe a little bit mean to you and kind of ignoring you there. And I do feel so bad about that, Sako. But that's how you use symbolism in your work. Wow! Some commonly used symbols include donkeys, which have been used to represent the Democratic Party, and elephants, which are used to represent the Republican Party. Other commonly used symbols include the Statue of Liberty, bald eagles, and Uncle Sam, which have all been used to represent the United States as a whole. Like in this cartoon, by Adam Ziglis of the Buffalo News. When Adam Ziglis went about this cartoon, he thought about how bad things were in the year 2008. Oh, you think 2008 was bad? How about this year, man? <laughs> well, yeah, that's kind of true. But back then, 2008 seemed to be a kind of rough year for the United States, and he thought, what could represent something bad? And he came up with the metaphor of using a burning building. Symbolism often uses metaphors, and a metaphor is a figure of speech in which a word or phrase is applied to an object or action to which it is not literally applicable. So in this image, 2008 wasn't literally a burning building, it just kind of felt like a burning building to the artist, and that's how he represented it as a metaphor for how the whole year went. And as you guys begin your editorial cartoon, that's a big part of the process is thinking about a topic and then coming up with a good metaphor. So the first step is to really familiarize yourself with some of the topics that are out there, some of the things that are going on with the world. Then choose one that you have an opinion about. And it should be a personal opinion, not a general opinion that everyone has. Well, what do you mean? Well, think about mosquitoes, for instance, Sako. Everyone hates mosquitoes, so you putting a mosquito in a red circle with a line through it, that's not making much of a statement. Everyone already agrees with you. It doesn't really say much about you and your opinion. Once you've decided on your topic, you have to start thinking about it. Are there sides to your topic? Which side do you agree with? What do people in each side of the topic say? Who's at fault? Who's being hurt? What's wrong? What's right? And when you've done that, write your answers to those questions, and then start thinking metaphorically. What things or objects or places or animals or situations have the same qualities that your topic does? Once you've thought about that, then you can begin your sketches. And with your sketches, these can be like our other thumbnail sketches. Quick, loose, gestural. When you're sketching, you have to think about clarity. Are you saying your idea succinctly? And can you do it with just one image, maybe two images? And then share your sketches with family members, with friends, and see what their opinions are. See if they get what you're talking about. Your idea does not have to be funny. It just has to make a statement and make people think. From there, you can begin your final draft. And that's going to be very straightforward. We're simply going to redraw it nice and big and clear, trace it in marker, add some shading and crosshatching, and then if you choose, you don't have to, but if you choose, some editorial cartoonists like to color their images. How about that, Sako? We got to do my lesson about editorial cartoons, and we made your video. Are you ready to watch it? Sure am. All right. Oh, you know what? I didn't change the DVD yet. Let me just get this out of there. Okay. All right, and we're going to put your movie in, and... All right, you good? Hmm? Yeah, you bet I'm ready. I can't wait. Okay. Here we go. This is going to be great. Hey, it's you. Yeah, that was a pretty good wig you got for me there. Wow, it really did look like I got eaten by a couch there, didn't it, Sako? Yeah, it did. Hey, 
Your beard grew back real fast, didn't it? Yeah, it did grow back pretty fast, didn't it? Well, I hope everyone enjoyed that episode. Bye, Bye everybody! everybody.